I like that. Let's go with those enemies. Uh, planetary defense shields. Um, Evix pool, I guess. Come on, are we in time to deal with them? Let's go aggressive. And there's my fleets. And I think they are just a bit late. Association status? No, man, I'm fighting you. Why would I go association status? Seriously, there's no reason to do that. Keep saving up. Low stability. Battle stations. A victory is ours. Problems is... Amenities. Build houses. And let's go for... Distribution of luxury is good. And once we hit 10, we will definitely need to do something about these entities. How are the stations doing? Are oh, they almost done? That means that these could be ready, right? Oh, so close. 88%. Hmm. Make them a penal colony. I keep forgetting that, that that's the way you actually do that. Okay, so there's the very first fight. Shortly. 5k versus 2.3. Are you on aggressive? So you should be targeting him right. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Come on, do it! Attack them. Don't know why you did not do that. And he's now insulting me, you know, the one who declared war on me, he's now insulting me. He's like, oh, I get some friends and I, I do not fear you anymore. Well, that's going to be a mistake. Oh, yes. The warbird, the battleship. Let's go for it. Let's go for that. That is absolutely fantastic. That would actually be... Enough reason to destroy some of my ships and replace them with actual battleships. Okay, you go there. Got two fleets in there. I hope so. I do hope so. I haven't seen the battleship in the longest time. Hmm... We'll see. Hopefully soon. Okay, those guys go over there. We'll deal with whatever is in this system. And... Send them over there. And we want to make sure that we vassal swarm them. Oh, nice. Okay, all of these stations are now ready. We'll wait until this... Oh, that is so good looking. I like that. I really like that. Overwhelmingly equivalent. Does this help with the... Um, with my with my neighbors? Not really, no. That is sad. Okay, let's take a look. We want a uh, shipyard. Warp inhibitors. Shipyard. Warp inhibitors. 
Uh, he is still upgrading, so that doesn't really help me. And the trading hub needs more. No hangers. Trading DPO. And we already have the promenade. Yeah, we do. Warp inhibitors. I just don't want anyone to leave if they are caught in, in these areas. Uh, naval depot. And he's still upgrading. Uh, yeah, once we get this station back, let's go and attack those. Oh, there's something going on here. Maybe a bit too much for him. Let's go send him as well. Let us... Sabotage a enemy starship. And... If it could be the Morale, that would be nice. Come on, the Mariah States, and go with low intensity. Uh, let's go get War Games, and what shall we pick? Uh, don't care for the terraforming. Sensor range is not that important. Fleet command limit plus 50 would be very nice. I don't care about that. Starbase influence and claiming is not important. Starbase hold points and defensive. Maybe somewhere in the future. Starbase capacity plus 5 would be cool. Defensive platforms. Starbases. Mind over menace. Could be interesting. Plus 15. Admin cap. No, we're not over that. Edict duration plus a hundred. That would save us even more influence. Subject integration cost and trust cap plus a hundred. Well, that would be interesting. I'll go for the command limit. Because that helps my free fleets immediately. And we'll get those new ships in, right? So... Let's take a look how this fight goes. Let's go here. Where is the fleet? Jumped away. Oh, they just jumped back. Well. We'll wait. How long until we get those new ships? Uh, technology. That is not technology. Who the hell are you? Huh. 17 months. Uh, we've got new disruptors. AI control, research speed, physics. Definitely the research speed. And we got the government buildings. Yeah, let's go for the um, the merchants. Ooh, that is cheap. Someone is flooding the market here. That is really cheap. That is really good. Man, this this fight. 
Yeah, of course. I, I, I was thinking the same thing. Of course, your Ryans are having the market under their belt. So we got a good amount of alloys right now. And we will use that to build more stations. That is a shame. And in 17 months, we'll get new ships. And we're going to be using this as well. I think we'll focus a bit more on minerals and stuff. Although enmities is quite low with them as well. Okay, let's see what the AI actually made of this. Yeah, that ain't bad. Could be better, but it ain't bad. How about you? Start survey. Well. Interesting. Would not be my choice, but still. It's my own fault for letting the AI do things. Okay, you guys return. Return. And the third fleet is going to remain here. Because his, uh, his home is nearby anyways. Endorians are now equivalent. He is guys pathetic. Does not want to be... By himself. Oh wow, look at this. The Rogian Hunters are actually... Beating the living crap out of these guys. Still fighting. Also still fighting. The truce still there. But how long... How long is that truce? Uh, just two and a half years. And I just don't want to destroy any ships like this. And then my guys go. Scientific breakthrough. So there is the uh, the Merchants Association. Uh, let's go with the rare. Peace offering. Hey, there's the peace offering from the the, the Fendomar. Uh, does that mean that this war is finally done? No. How about you? Equivalent. Okay, so that's the only one that they're currently fighting. And... Yeah, they're going to be annihilated. Priya mission has been done. Congratulations. Well done, sir. You have returned. Oh, the Dominion is... Are you kidding me? Look at this. Dominion actually joined in with everyone in here. I love to see that the Dominion is doing good. I really do enjoy that.
Uh, come on, guys. Get onto that planet, please. What are you doing? Go. Show them how it goes. Yeah, there was nothing there. Send it off. Uh, best possible outcome. We got ourselves another subject. They're still overwhelming. Pathetic. Hmm. I would like this war to be done. He has no allies. It's the Gron. They are pathetic. Who else? Who else? But we can't reach there. We cannot go through their territory. You are you still fighting? Yourself. Yeah, I don't think so. We want to fight this guy, uh, so we can actually get towards to our east. Through the Sobali, and then into the Uskol, and then we'll have a lot of territory against the Klingon Empire. Yeah, the Northern Coalition, man, that's... that's... Holy crap. Uh, still, having the Borg as a neighbor is, is, is not something I would say is ideal. Hmm. It's upgrade. Imperial construction project complete. Good. Yeah, I think we want to go to war with them. Uh, we're going to be taking the majority of this stuff, so we can actually start bordering the Subali. We because we're just too far us. away, and they think they can actually manage. They they have somewhat more technology, perhaps. These guys are not going to be interested. What's your problem now? Yeah, enmities for sure. So let's start with the entertainment center. It's the better option for now. That will continue. Hey, thanks again for the bits, uh, Wenek. I really appreciate that. Once he's done. And how long until the uh, the new ship? Six months. Now, six months I can definitely wait. Uh, we got a good amount of shipyards now. And I think we should redesign the fleet. Especially with the battleships. I think that's going to be very interesting and and actually in the contract. <sighs> members of the federation have grouped together recognizing that together they're stronger uh watch mid war the klingons are going to declare war you need an ally against the Borg. And they... Do we like this type of federation? Who are they allied with? It is called everyone, not every person in the contract. He's equivalent. Surrounding the lesser settler. I, I think I would be more in 
inclined to go with a hegemony. Build around uh, one powerful empire surrounding by lesser. So we could say, we could draw all the power towards us, right? Let's stop that before uh, all of this uh, goes away. Should we go for the Galactic Union? Or shall we just invite them into our coalition as a hegemony? Currently, they would accept. And we'll call it the, um, the Romulan... Federation or whatever, uh, something like that. And as long as we can remain the strongest, he would actually help us. The Galactic Union. I don't know. Together they are stronger. The Southern Coalition. Interesting. But I think we can do better. I would go for the Hedromony. Let's decline this offer. What shall we call it? Mm, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Random name. Uh, no. Let's just call it the Romulan Star Empire. Let's just, just... Just call it what it is. We are the strongest in this. And, um... They should recognize our strength. Because he is just inferior to us. And especially once we can actually be strong. And what we will do is... We're going to be, um... Making sure that we will remain in control. The Galactic Coalition. It sounds so Federation-like. Where's the aggressiveness? I need the aggressiveness in there. And I need some warm tea because I'm getting it rather cold. I think about a aggressive name. Nah. We, we haven't even... Well, we've seen the Borg, but we haven't felt the Borg. There's one thing that we want to do before we do anything, right? That's saving the game. I can't really use a rumble on in there indeed. Just call it Star Empire, whatever. I like the winter, why don't these bugs die? Um, yeah, we'll call it Star Empire. Really lame name, didn't save the game. Oh well. Now uh, we've discovered the Cardassians and the Bream. They are superior. So. All of my vassals are in here as well. We're going to be assigning. All these guys. We are the president. These are all of our members. We... Yeah, that's ugly. Do not use fleet designer because it will crash. Nice. Uh, fleet contribution is going to be none. 
the strongest is going to be the leader and we are currently by far the strongest uh we want to go with maybe fleets nah that's too too much star wars diplomatic wave actually we are definitely still the strongest so as long as we remain the strongest sub this can do yes um majority vote i, I want to go towards the president's decide what will happen uh inviting members i will decide on that i will decide on this yeah so far i can live with this and i would like to go towards um Maybe centralization isn't so bad. No, that doesn't really help us. Let's see, what are the, uh, the odds here? More goods, ship speed, envoys, resources... President gets the established hegemony war goal. That is a good one. I really like this one. Level 3. We can just join or die. That is way better. Uh, more resources. Some influence. Federation influence. Endgame crisis. Inf uh, unity. And ship firing rate. Actually not bad. I like it. Yeah, so far I'm happy with it. We just have to make sure that we remain the strongest. And currently... Uh, so th this is all that we have, right? Are they still my tributaries then? They are. Now that I really, really like... Will this change anything towards them? Let's wait for the uh, the tick of the month. Uh, I like the stability option. No, doesn't change jack about it. Uh, but it would be interesting to declare war... Hmm. So we do have a lot of ships here. Okay, that is not something we want to fight because that's a fallen empire. How long for this to end? Two years. I'd say we wait for the Bolians uh, while we use the time. To reinforce, considering we will get the new ships quite, quite soon. Uh, they're doing all of that. You are upgrading, which is good. Let's see, how much are we making? Yeah, this will eventually change. For now, there's no big problem. And there is the new ships and the the warbird has been rendered retired. Let's go for housing. Let's go to ship designer. And there's the new warbird and the battleship. Finally, there's the battleship. All these new ships as well. Looks really good. Um, let's take a look. You... Interceptor, Warbird. Like that. Yeah, not, not too many. Like this. And we'll use... Hmm. I still like the Plasma Disruptors.
because we can uh, penetrate that armor 